Good morning, folks. The old fisherman back with you once again. Thursday morning, Valentine's Day, and we out here trying to catch some doggone fish. Hey, cold this morning. Calm conditions. It was windy as the devil yesterday. The fish might not bite in this calm condition. We're gonna try it. We're just now getting here. Got a couple gulls diving. I'm gonna start with a three rig this morning. I normally, yesterday I started casting, but I'm in a different area. The gulls are in a different kind of location. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to circle this three rig around here and see if we can pick up something right quick. It looks like the fish might be scattered. Might not catch nothing. Uh, gulls are circling and looking, but they ain't really concentrating. We might not have a good day today. Calm conditions. I tell you, windy conditions, it's hard to beat. If you can hold a boat and get in a place to fish, you can catch them. Today, a whole different, a whole different ball game. Beautiful, gonna be 60 degrees. We might not catch them today. We're gonna try, we'll catch something. We might end up having to go back to perch fishing, but we'll catch something. I'll see a few fish down there. So far, I ain't had a bite. And that ain't a good sign. We, we need that wind. We need some wind. It's slick today. It's slick today. <coughs> From one day to the next, that's the way it is. You can't depend on what happened yesterday when you come back out a new day. Because it might be different. And that's where your fishing abilities come in. You got to be able to adapt to uh, different conditions. The best fisherman in the world has bad days, and them bad days is when he couldn't adapt to find out where the fish is at. Because let me tell you, just about any day, you can catch them if you get the right place and do the right thing. But you got to get the right place and do the right thing. Right now, I'm a little bit concerned. Uh, I mean, it's really slick. Now, I waited. I got here after the sun then got up. So I might have got here late. Yesterday I did, but we had windy conditions, so it was different. I ain't had a bump yet, and that ain't a good sign. I'm telling you, that ain't a good sign. I should be catching. I've seen a lot of fish, but not a lot of what I think stripers or perch. Uh, the bigger fish on the bottom, it could be anything. It could be gores, carp. And the gulls ain't staying, so that means the fish ain't really feeding. That's what that means. So we gonna have a tough day today. I gotta feed. Hey, you never know. I, just, I might end up going right back up there where I started yesterday and do some casting in that ditch, but it might not be there today. Whole different world, I'm telling you. You never know with these jokers. There was, one, there was a bite, one bump that. They ain't want to bite today. I can see that right off the bat. They ain't want to bite today. I got a guppal out of meta, a, uh, on my three rig, the little bump is pulling that one, a little perch, a little perch. And, uh, ain't that, oh, that's a stick, can't even a perch. Y'all gonna stick. I'm catching stick now. What? Oh, Lord. The world's going on here. We're gonna have to adjust right off the bat. This ain't working. I don't feel it. Old fisherman's got to feel it now. I don't feel it. I need a bite to start feeling it. That's what I need. I need a bite to start feeling it. We're just gonna have to look around, find something down. See if we can catch a perch or two. Might not be today to stripe up here, or bad. And then again, you never know. The wind might just pick up a little bit. I don't think it's supposed to be windy, but you can't go by the weather, man. Right now, this ain't looking good at all. All the birds just left. When the birds left, there ain't no fish down there. They're circling around looking, but they never zeroed in on that thing. This ain't it. We got to move. I know when something ain't it. This ain't it. Hey, folks. We uh, just started casting a little bit. I caught one striper, and uh, we got another now. We got another now. Let me get him in. Got another on. Might be a kick. He's casting the same old bass assassin jig that I was casting yesterday. Only today the dog going to tell uh, weather is real calm and bright sunshiny. No wind at all. We got a super dog magnum on. 
We got a big one on. We got a big one on. Look at him. Look at him what a fish. Look at him what a fish, people. Look at him what a fish that I just caught on a doggone bass assassin jig casting again. Hey, that is a monster. That, my friend, is a monster. I should have had the camera on, but I threw it out there just to see if I get a bite. And bip, you see what happened. Look at him with a bass. Look at him with a striper. Now that, my friend, is a super dog magnum. See what he weighs. Let's see what he weighs. He's a good one. Huh? Hey, he's a good one. He's a big time striper. It's a flutter spoon striper. What that is? A flutter spoon striper. See what he weighs. What y'all think he weighs? I think he weighs over six pounds. Let's see. Oh, oh, six ten. Six ten. Look at that. A whopper. Huh? That's a good one. A six pound test line and a tiny eighth ounce head, two inch bass assassin. Crappy jig. If you don't think that a little jig catches big fish, you wrong. I'm gonna show you. That is a whopper. The other one I caught was a big one. Hey, look at that. Bass assassin swim jig. <coughs> and you got to love it. See, if we catch another man. I tell you, this cast is fun. Just got to take your time. You can't get in a hurry. This captain's fun. Let's throw it out there so we catch nothing. What? We're on a creek channel on a turn. <coughs> Different place we caught them yesterday. Six pound tails line, cash and rod. This cash and rod is a, uh, it says uh, some medium, and it goes from six to 12 pound line, one eight to, uh, 516 jig head. And that's what is a perfect rod for this kind of application. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's supposed to be 60 degrees, so the fish is probably not going to be that great, but we just caught one casting. These fish are going to pull. Our uh, water temperature this morning is 48 degrees. And uh, I'm just Falling behind some looms down go a couple gulls circling. And I don't see any fish activity. But hey, if there's looms around, that means there's shad around. And shad around means there's stripers around. What y'all think? It's what I think. We only got pushed up on the bank here. This is about where I caught the fish right here off the bank. Let me get out a little bit. We work this jig back in, see if we catch another. That's two. That's nothing. That's nothing. That's a nut. I mean a good one. Hey, another one. Look down the going. Look down the going. Look at that drag. That sucker's going. Huh? About the same place caught the other one. Oh my. Huh? What? Whole oh, fisherman's loving life. Hey, goodness sakes alive, let's get it out the sun. Let's get it out the sun. Told them motor's going too fast. Got to slow it up. Hey, he thumped it now. You think they won't hit that bass sassy jig? You wrong. Huh? Oh, my. Hey, Dave, this is bigger than the last one. I believe, I believe this is bigger than the last one. Hey, Dave, my old shoulders won't catch fish like this. Huh? He's pulling six pound test, people. A little rod. It's a wonderful way to catch them. Oh, my. He dunked it. Them old big fish is pushed in here in eight and ten foot of water. Believe it or not. Where they at? Eight and ten foot of water. That is a good fish. That ain't no baby. That ain't no baby. What? I don't know if he's big as last one, but he ain't no baby. All of them pull like the devil. With his rod, I'm telling you, I got bad shoulders. Huh? 
Definitely a keeper. He ain't big lefty. Probably about two and a half. Five. He's a good one, though. Let me tell you what. Right now, that's a good one. Huh? That's the kind of fish you like to catch, people. Look at him. I want to show you something. I want to show y'all something. If I can get him. If I can get him up. I want to show you this doggone jig. And this fish is mine. Huh? Look at that jig in his mouth. Then tore it down, but look at that. Hey, that, my friend, is another good one. What? Huh? Oh, my. Hey, Gloria. Gloria Wessanger. That's a bacon fish, there, ain't it? Oh, my. If Gloria's the one trying to teach me how to bake fish, I ain't done it yet. I got to do it. I just got to have time to do it. Hey, I'm too busy fishing and cleaning fish. Seems like all I do anymore is clean fish. We sure got some bacon fish this week. That, my friend, is for sure. We got some bacon fish. Hey, I'm sitting on a pile of fish right here. 19 foot of water. I need to get back up yonder. We need to move this boat off these fish. Them fish are sitting here on the, on the edge of a point. We need to move this boat back over here off these fish. I'm telling you, we own the fish. We put another jig out there in the right place, I believe. We'll catch another one. What y'all think? I believe it. Okay? Let's see what we can do. It's a bunch of fish right there. I'm gonna throw right out there. And it drops off and comes up on a, on a, on a ledge. This is ledge fishing in a creek channel, what this is. Real close to the bank, but we got 21 foot here. And fish is right on that ledge. If we let that jig sink down, and work it in slow, we get another bite. Got to set my drag, put a set hook, okay? See if we can catch a nut. See if we can catch a nut for you. I love this cast. My problem is I got to get the perch and the three rigs and the deep water fishing out my head to do this. But hey, catching fish this side, I ought to be able to get it out my head, don't you reckon? You would think. I'm programmed to catch them fish straight down, but Lord have mercy, you can't beat this cast. He's a big fish up here on this bank, and they pushing all up and down these ditches. If you get the right place, throw that jig in the right place, you catch one. Ain't no question. I know it's another thing to be caught. Gotta take my time and do it. I know this, this uh, jig casting a little bit slower than what I'm used to doing for y'all. But I, I figured y'all want to change. Hey, you got to love a change. Valentine's Day. Oh, my, and I ain't got Miss Deborah nothing yet, so I got to go to the store before she gets home. I'm slipping. The old man's slipping. I usually got stuff like this waiting when you wake up in the morning, but I sure am slipping today. I'm telling you. Y'all working me too hard these videos. Y'all going to get me in the doghouse. With Miss Deborah. I don't like being in the doghouse with no redhead. People, I don't know if any of y'all married to a redhead, but they different. Lord in mercy, they different. But you got to love a redhead. Hey, that's been my weakness all my life, redheaded women. I'll be the first to tell you. You got to pay the consequences to be with a redhead, though, let me tell you. Y'all redheads don't get mad at me now, but it's true. I need another bite. I'm loving that bump. That bump. Them old big rock fish hit that thing, they thump. They got it. They sucking this little jig down in the tussle. Now, see, the gulls don't move back in the cove. The problem is they don't stay put. That's why it's so slow. And we ain't back in a in a dip. Uh oh, one hit back out there. That might have been a rock fish. Let me throw out that one. Something small though. That wasn't nothing like I was just catching, but I throw out there and see what, what it is. Good place for bass too. Any kind of anytime you got a, a, a turn in a creek and a ledge, it'll bank up on kind of like using it as a backboard on a basketball goal. They'll bank up on that ledge. 
that pushed him shad to that ledge and they eat him, buddy. And if you can bring that imitation shad down that ledge right and it's fixed there, he will suck it down. He will suck it down. I used to do a lot of this fishing. That's another prime place. Get on that bank, it's like a little island point. If I wouldn't worry about scratching up my boat, I'd pull up on the bank and show you how to catch one off the bank right there, because that is a prime place to cast it. You're casting out, it goes down, you're bringing it up that ledge, just like the shad's coming in. I have seen it when you could set out in the creek, throw it to the bank and couldn't catch them. You had to turn around and pull your boat up to the bank, throw out in the creek, bring it back to the bank, catch them. I keep saying that, but I have seen it a lot. And when I'm thinking it, I need to be doing it instead of sitting out here in the middle, throwing toward the bank. I need to be on the bank, throwing sideways and up out and bringing it up. That's what I need to be doing. Got to be another fish out there. I'll bet you money. I'll bet you money. Them stripers has pushed up these doggone ditches and they in here feeding on these doggone shad. Along with these doggone loons. You look at these loons, you follow the loons. You go in a cove, you got a bunch of loons. Hey, it's fish, it's, it's bait in there. And if it's bait in there and stripers around and bass, they gonna be some of them in there too. You can count on them. That's the way it is. It's just a matter of time. I'm doing a lot of talking, but it's just a matter of time for one thumps it again. And listen, hey, you got to love a thump. I'm telling you. And you see how gently I'm operating this thing. I'm just barely pulling it, pulling it. Hey, you. They want it fast. They want it trolling fast, but they won't. They want it trolling fast. That's what they want. White perch. Perch and, and the strappers out here. Those guys are just trolling what they're doing with the big motors. All right. Fish are over there. They're moving fast. Get this troll. Did we catch the trolling? The trolling motor. They're moving fast. No doubt. 28 foot of water right here. They're moving fast. No question. I'm probably moving too fast trying to chase them. Probably better off just fishing instead of running after these birds. A lot of times you get to watching the birds and you want to try to run after them and you're spending all your time running and you ain't got the, the, the bait in the, in the strike zone down there. Hey, yeah. Woo, that's a good one. He nailed it. That's a striper. That's a striper. He nailed it. That's a striper. Pretty good one, too. That's a pretty good one, too. What? Y'all see him pulling? He's pulling. Oh, Lord, he's pulling. Hey, damn. Hey, damn. What? I just had a three rig, trolling three rig, he nailed. What he done? He nailed it. He nailed it. He nailed it. 
That's a pretty good fish. That might be a keeper. This is the big rod I got him on. That joker, it's on the other side of the boat. Oh yeah, that's definitely a keeper. Got him on the doggone bare spoon trolling. Look at that, huh? Look at that. Yes, sir. Uh, good ones. What? I can't. Come on, boy. Look at that. Bare spoon. What? He sucked it. Hey, folks. We moved a little bit. Hopefully, we got on a few perks. They've been slow here the last hour or so. Hope we can get on a couple right here. Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie and see if we can catch one. We had a couple under us. By the time I hook on the camera, they're liable to leave. So what's been happening? See what happens. See if we can stir something up. Hey, there was a bite. There was a bite. I see a couple down there. We can get them to take it. There you are. There you are. There you are. That's a right nice one. That's a good one. What? Oh, yeah. That might be a striper. Oh, it ain't either. That's a jumbo, super duper, ooper dog magnum. Look at the size of that doggone perch. That joker, that was a pound and a half, buddy. Hey, we're gonna let it down. I'll show it to you right quick. Look at him. Look at this joker. That's a big perch, people. That's a super duper dog magnet. I'd like to get on a bunch of them like that now. That's bigger monocella perch. Huh? That's bigger monocella perch. You got to love that. There's nothing. Hey, there's nothing. There's nothing. Oh my. There's another. Another good one. Huh? Another good one. Look at that. He ain't as big as the last one, but he's a good one. You got to love that. Drop it back down. Keep them going. Boy, we got them under us now. 25 foot of water. Perch everywhere. Hey, let's see what we can do to them. Thanks for being with the old fisherman on another episode. Got to love it. Catching and fishing with the old fisherman. Got to turn this camera just a smidgen. All right there. Hey, right. you got to love fishing with the old fisherman. Look at that. Got a nut. Hey, got a nut. We got it going on now. Lake Murray loving life and on some white perch finally. Hey. Caught some, a couple of stripers this morning. Y'all see that? But now, it kind of lulled time, and now they're starting to back, hopefully. Hopefully, we can keep them under us. It's a good many down there if, we, if they'll stay there. They move so fast this time of the year. You never know if they're going to stay or not. There's some good ones in here. We can catch them. There they are. Huh? There he is. There he is. Oh my, there he is. Medium size, no, not a big one. Throw it back out. See if we can catch some more. I see a few fish, 25 foot of water. I caught them here in the summertime, right here, same spot. Same area. There he is. Hey, they down there now. They down there if we keep them going. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I look at that fish find, I don't see nothing. That ain't good. Them jokers will leave in a minute. That's one. Hey, that's one. That's a pretty nice one. That's a pretty nice one. On a spoon. Very spoon. Boy, when they take that spoon, they heck to get off. Let me take. They are heck to get off. Got time to play with them Get it back down to the bottom. I don't see them though like I did. Beat the boat stir them up. I don't know if that even works for me this time of year or not. They're gone though, I don't see them. They left. They left. That one. They ain't all of them left. Hey, they ain't all of them left. There's one. Oh my. I'm laying it to them again. Laying it to him, he's supposed to go on jig up. Heck, y'all. Y'all bear with me. Try to get this thing right. Get it back out. 
using a, a spoon with a gump alive metal and a dog on Mr. Crappy, orange Mr. Crappy at the top. They ain't really hitting Mr. Crappy. I probably need to go to the Big Daddy Jig at the. Uh oh, that one, that one bumped it. Nothing bumped it. Hey, yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. Uh, Not all big ones though, they're mixed up. They're mixed up. Get a little breeze now, and that might be what's turning them on. They're trying to bite a little bit here. There he is. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. That's a jumbo. That's a jumbo right there. That's a good one. That's a big old joker. What? Two of them, that's what it is. One of them big, but both of them's keeper. Hey, both of them's keeper. Look at the size of that perch right there. That's a good one. What? That is a good one. Look at the size of that sucker. Oh, goodness, you got to love a jumbo magnet. I do. I don't mind telling you. Hey, this ain't no bad one. That, that other one was a real good one. Hey. Uh oh. Come on, Big Daddy. Where you at? This thing here ain't doing good. This Mr. Crappy ain't doing good at all. We need to put something else on here. We ain't catching nothing on. Tell you what, let's put another gut on there. Let's put a black Chad color on. See what happens. We got the emerald shad at the bottom. Let's see if the black shad will bite, if they'll bite that. They sure wasn't hitting that dog on a Mr. Crappy, I can tell you that. Drop it down to the bottom with a big boy's line. Put a little cap back on it. You don't want to keep that cap off. You keep that thing over. You got juice all in the boat. And that juice does stink now. That's a that's some smelling stuff. Hey, that's some smelling stuff. Look at that. I already got one. See if we get two. See if we get another to bite it. Oh, that got off. <laughs> I get get greedy. That got off. Uh oh. Getting greedy. I don't see them like I did now. Probably have to pull the boat a little bit. Let's uh, pull the boat a little bit and see what happens. They might be leaving me. I hope not. They sure was there. Hey, that was a bite. That was a bite. That was another bite. A little one. A little one. Hell, he ain't that little. He probably keep him. Get a little fillet out of him. About to tear up my animal chair. About to tear and slam up. Twenty-five foot. That's the deepest I've caught them in a while. There he is. There he is. Oh, they bite now. They bite. That ain't too bad. Good size. Come back in here, boy. Come back in here, boy. Hey, good size. Uh-oh. Got a twist up. I hate to twist up. That old tall line, that high line, I'll get twisted up in a minute. All right. All right, getting off the fish here, playing around. Now we got 27 foot now. Pull back up.
Alright, get it to the bottom. Oh, there's a pile of that in there. Pile of them. We're gonna get one pretty quick. There's a pile of them down there. That looks good. That looks like what we've been looking for right there. Come on, boys, don't quit now. I see you, I know you're there. Oh, what in the world? All them fish, I didn't get a bite. Let's see if a striper's come in here. There was a bite. There was a bite. Hey, there was a bite. There was a bite. That's a good one, too. That's a good one. What? Hey, Jay. Two of them. That's why it felt so good. Doubles. 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 Come on, boy. Tore up the doggone shaft. I got a lot of money. Oh, slam up. I got to get another. Going through these babies, too. Just got these in. I bought the big jar this time. That's around with no baby jar. All right. Got that on. Throw it out. Uh oh. That top line will mess me up every time I'm playing. All right, come on. Get back down there, boys. We got fish to catch. What's the matter with you guys? We got fish to catch. Put it to the bottom with a big... What happened? for a little bit, but they don't really quit now. We got to let y'all go. That, boy, that thumped it. That thumped it. That thumped it. I guarantee that's a nice one. That ain't, that's got to be a striper. There ain't no way that's a perch. There ain't no way that's a perch. <laughs> nah, he thumped it like a striper. Oh, God. Yeah, that's definitely a striper. Definitely a striper. That dog on black chad. He's probably 18 inches. Wow. See that? That's what I'm talking about. I got to throw him back. Hello, folks. The old fish one back with you. Hey, we had a good, uh, really, we had a great day today uh, on Lake Murray. We started off and caught a few casts, and then we went to uh, uh, to, to the white perch and caught a few of them. We've got a drum half full. Uh, we had 40 pounds yesterday. We probably got close to that today. But uh, I want to show you a couple of the big stripers I caught this morning up close. Personal. <laughs> Shoot, I got so many big ones, I don't know which one's the big one. It's a problem. But, uh, hey, I want to show you some nice stripers. Look here. Look at that. Look at the size of them babies. Them some big ones. They won't even they won't even go in the screen. See that? Them was big ones we caught this morning casting that doggone deer. And uh had a great day. Thanks for being with the old fisherman on another episode. I appreciate all y'all do for me. And uh hey, if you don't mind, go to the store and check out the merchandise. Hey, subscribe and hit the like button. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll get back again tomorrow. Catch some more. Maybe go to Monticello tomorrow. I'm not sure. It's going to be hard because catch them size fish over here. You want to come back over here and play around casting that jig. But thanks for being with the old fisherman on another episode. And we'll get back with you. See you.